we have shipped agent to agent transfers. Now, this is really helpful if you have various different specialized agents, for example, you know, a different agent that has access to a different kind of knowledge base, you know, some technical support agent, hardware support agent, billing issues. So, you know, you can imagine kind of building different agents for different use cases, and then being able to transfer between these agents is really, really helpful. So let's have a little listen what that sounds like. Hey, champ, what's up? Hey, can I have a piece of chocolate, please? Well, champ, you know I'm a pushover for that sweet tooth of yours, but how about you ask your mom first? I think she's got the final say on this one. Okay. Don't you try to be cheeky with me? Did your dad say you could have a piece of chocolate? Yes, yes, he said. I don't believe you for a second. You go brush your teeth and get ready for bed. No chocolate tonight. <laughs> well, so this was just a fun little uh, demonstration. So as you can see, it was actually keeping the state of the conversation, you know, between the two agents it was kind of doing a, a hand over there. So mom actually knew that um, dad didn't actually give permission to have the chocolate. And so the whole situation escalated. Now, obviously, this was just a fun little example, we can just quickly look at the configuration here. So we have two agents, we have a papa bear, and we have a mama bear. Um, so papa bear just says, Hey, champ, what's up? Um, system prompt here, you know, kind dad, you want to allow everything, but you also know that, you know, you need to get permission from mom. Uh, and then here, the way we can uh, perform the transfer between the agents is with this transfer to agent tool. So once you add that to your agent, um, you can leave this blank to, to use kind of the optimized prompt to for the handover. Uh, and then you add basically transfer rules. So you can see here, you can choose kind of all the agents that you have available within your workspace. And then you can put a condition here. And so I had, you know, if the kid asks for sweets, I need to ask mom for uh, first, and then you know, transfer them over. So that's exactly what we did here. All right, fantastic. You know, obviously, there is a lot more kind of advanced use cases you can build here. Um, but yeah, hopefully this just gave you some inspiration of what is possible with 11 labs conversational AI, really, really excited to see what you will build with this. Let us know, you know, below what you're working on. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.